everybody. My name is Karen Caruso. I, like a lot of you, might be contemplating a career transition. Made the change 23 years ago myself. Fundraising was my third career after careers in advertising and sales in the fashion world. Uh, a lot's changed since I made the change, um, but it's really, it's an, it's an exciting field. It really is. I've never regretted it and never looked back. So, um, so I'd like to introduce my panelists today. Jeff Sperber is the Executive Director of Development at Syracuse University. He heads the New York Regional Office. And Betsy Stewart is the Director of Development for the Westchester Children's Association. Uh, they also, um, I'll give you a little bit about their backgrounds in a minute. Um, they represent sort of the two, two different extremes in terms of a small organization and a large organization. Betsy's organizational budget is about half a million dollars and Betsy is the development department. Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jeff uh, at Syracuse University, he's one of 43 development officers, and uh, the budget for Syracuse is probably in the hundred million dollar range, hundreds of millions of dollars. So, uh, and I'll be talking a little bit about the difference between small shop, large shop, et cetera. So uh, the way today is going to lay out uh, I will start talking about how a for-profit differs from a non-profit. I'll talk about the different functional areas in fundraising that you'll be hearing about if you're not already familiar with them. Then I'll be turning it over to Jeff and Betsy to, to share their stories, where they came from, how they made the change, um, challenges they encountered. Uh, we'll wind up with sort of strategies for making the change, and then Q&A will be at the end. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about how a nonprofit differs from a for-profit. Basically, um, nonprofit you have stakeholders, a for-profit you have stockholders. Uh, both of them have a bottom line orientation. In, in a nonprofit, you have to raise the money, otherwise you can't operate the programs. You know, whether it's feeding the hungry, after school programs for needy children, uh, you know, uh, the Bronx Zoo, whatever it is. So, um, so there is a bottom line focus, but the nonprofits are mission driven, and you'll hear a lot about mission, and we'll be talking about mission um, during the presentation. The mission is basically the purpose that they serve. Why are they in existence? Is it to, it's to do some, make some societal change, help a certain population, find a cure for cancer research, whatever, but it's, it's that purpose that gives it its um, tax-exempt status, which is very important because that's uh, how, because when people give to these charities, their donations are tax deductible. So that's really how they operate. Um, also, you have a bunch of different constituencies in a nonprofit. You have the people that, that are, are beneficiaries of your programs, you have donors to the programs, you have your board members, you might have other volunteers who are not on the board. So it's a whole different cast of uh, folks that you're basically working with and serving in different capacities. Also, um, the pace in a nonprofit can be very different from a for-profit. And it can be anywhere from a lot faster to glacial. If you're at a small advocacy organization, you can get turnaround time. They can hop on an issue, especially now with Twitter and Facebook and everything like that. Um, if you're working at a major university and you're coming from the business world sometimes, it can feel like things take forever. <laughs> so, so it's really, um, it, as you're contemplating this change, it's important to know yourself and do some sort of self-study in terms of what it is that motivates you, what, um, what you're passionate about, what types of organizations you thrive in, uh, et cetera, because that will really inform your job search 